And the state of Oklahoma is going to court to fight COVID-19 vaccine mandates handed down by the federal government. The latest lawsuit challenges a vaccine mandate for federal employees and the Oklahoma National Guard. News on 6's Jonathan Cooper spoke exclusively with Attorney General John O'Connor today and joins us live with the details. Jonathan. Craig and Shannon, the Oklahoma Attorney General's office has now filed five different lawsuits challenging vaccine mandates. Attorney General John O'Connor tells me he'll file more if he needs to. Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor is fighting back against the Biden administration. The rights don't start with the federal government, but but President Biden seems to think they do. At issue, whether the federal government has the right to mandate COVID-19 vaccines. O'Connor and his office so far have filed five lawsuits connected to different vaccine mandates. I've been vaccinated. I don't have a problem with the vaccine. Uh, I have a problem with the word mandate. Since November 1st, his office has filed lawsuits challenging vaccine mandates for federal contractors, private sector employees, and healthcare workers. They're also suing Ascension Healthcare for denying religious exemptions to the vaccine. And just last week, Oklahoma became one of the first states to sue over the vaccine mandate for the military and National Guard. The reason for all five of our lawsuits, really, is that uh, the rights and liberties belong in the individual in America. That's different from other many other nations in the world. O'Connor believes the Biden administration is violating constitutional law and overstepping its authority. And he's encouraging private employees and employers in Oklahoma to wait for the courts to sort it out. And according to him, the state will file more lawsuits if necessary. It's one body of law. Either the president has the authority or he does not. And so everywhere that shows up, we're going to we're going to oppose it. I reached out to Governor Kevin Stitt's office today, who tells me he also agrees and supports all of these lawsuits. Reporting live in Tulsa, Jonathan Cooper, Oklahoma's own News on 6.